Now we're going to go ahead and move the columns that we defined within our migrations in the last lesson over into column definitions within our models so that we can actually start using them for CRUD operations within our application. So we're going to follow the same process that we covered within our model introduction lesson to get all of these ported over. So we're just going to copy the column definitions as they are, go within our model, go to where we want those to be inserted, paste them in. Remember that's command or control, option, and then down arrow to get us an additional cursor. Then we can do option, shift, and then right arrow to highlight whole words. So we'll want to just go over one whole word set plus an additional character to get that period. Cut that out. Go over another word there to get the actual column type. We can cut that out using Command or Control X. And then go over two additional characters. Delete that. Go over one more word. Uh, and then here, let's just go to the end of the string and delete the rest of that out. We can do colon and then paste in those types. Go to the start of the string using Command or Control left arrow. Type at column. Hit enter, public, go to the end of the string using command or control right arrow, and then just hit enter to do an additional line break, deleting that last line break out at the end there. And then we're going to just want to convert those database types to TypeScript safe types. So again, integer is going to be number. Now for our actual avatar column here, we're going to be using attachment light, which it does specify to use JSON as the actual database column type, but whenever it comes to the actual model, it's going to have a specific decorator and column type that we need to use. If we were to dive into the documentation, you can see that is at attachment and attachment contract. So what we want to do is install the package so that we have access to this decorator and type, and then we can actually go ahead and utilize them. So it's going to be npm i at adonis.js slash attachment hyphen light. Hit enter on that. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and do node ace configure at adonis.js slash attachment light. So now it should be configured within our project. Let's go ahead and copy this import list here and paste that within this particular model. And then we can specify the column decorator here as attachment and the type as attachment contract. And the attachment light project is actually super neat because the way that it's going to work is anytime that we query our profile, the actual avatar column is going to be the reference to the image in itself. So for an image source, all that we need to provide is our profile.avatar and it will render out just fine. So our profile should now be all set. Let's go ahead and move on to our states. Now our states just has a name. I think I can remember that much. So let's just dive into our state model. Go underneath our ID, type at column, public, name, of type string. And there we go. That one's all set. Let's do our post next. Now this one does have a little bit more and it also has another attachment light column on it. So let's go ahead and copy all of these and run through that same flow. So let's dive it within our post model here. Go to where we want those inserted, paste it in. Commander control option down to get all of our cursors there. Option shift right arrow, let go of option right arrow once more to get that dot. Delete that out. Highlight that word set using option shift right arrow. Cut that so that we have those types accessible. Go over two more characters holding down shift, delete, option right arrow, option shift right arrow to get those word sets there. Let's go ahead and convert those to camel case. Oh, you know what? We forgot to do that within our profile. So we'll need to go back and do that. Then we can just go ahead and note that the not nullables stop at the description. From there on, it becomes nullable. Commander control, shift and right arrow to highlight the rest of the string there. Hit delete, colon, paste, go to the start of the string, at column, enter, public, end of the line, enter, go down to the end, delete that extra line break. And so here we have two integers. We want to just change both of those to numbers. We have text within TypeScript land. There's no real uh, max length there for string. So we can just set that to string. And then JSON here, we'll want that to, again, just be an attachment of type attachment contract. And we should be all good with our post model here. So let's jump back into our profile here. And yep, looks like uh, the only one that needs to change here is our user ID. Just change that to camel case instead of uh, snake case. And let's double check our state. There shouldn't be, no, state's good. All right, cool. So next we can move on from our post to our topics. So let's jump down to our topics here, copy these, jump into our topic model, paste those in, and we're just gonna follow the exact same flow. So get our multi cursors, go over one word plus one character, cut out the type, over two, delete. We don't have to change any of those to camel case. Again, description becomes nullable, so we can delete those out, paste in our types, go to the start of the string, at column, public, end, hit enter, get rid of the additional, and we do need or null there. We also forgot to do that for our post, so let's jump up to there. Everything after description was nullable, so we'll specify that, or null, or null, and or null. In terms of our profile, we also have a couple of nullables there as well the biography or null and our avatar. And that should do it. Now we have all of the column definitions defined within our models as they're needed to be able to work with the actual database structure that we've created. If you enjoyed this lesson or you learned something new, please consider hitting the like button down below and subscribing for future lessons just like this one. We're going to be extending on to our relationships next and CRUD work after that. And hopefully you'll stick around and learn a bit with us. So thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you in the next one.